Hello, hello everyone. Good evening, good afternoon. I'm not really sure what time it is when you will be watching this, but hi, hello. Uh, today in this video, I'm doing a shop cider review. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of cider or shop cider. It pops up on my Facebook all the time with advertisements of cute clothing. And a lot of it gives me, I would say 60s vibes. Like it reminds me of kind of a Shein or Fashion Nova type shopping experience, but with 60 vibe type clothing. So I was intrigued. I wanted to get some items, check it out, give you guys a you know quality fit check, overall review of the products, kind of my full experience with their site. And it got here pretty fast. So I ordered like 12 pieces slash sets and I'll show you everything that I got. And as far as time that it took to get here, it was about, I got it, I ordered it about a week and a half ago and I got it yesterday. So it wasn't that bad. I did pay for the faster shipping option because I am impatient. I do not like waiting for my packages. So I did get the faster shipping option and I did get 15% off. They do allow that on your first order if you type in cider. As the discount code so just first impressions on their site I'm going to cover that really quick is the site does look really well done it's really easy to add stuff to your cart it's not confusing to see the details about the item itself or pictures of it they have plenty of pictures of the items and um, they have measurements and stuff like that on every single one of their items so easy to kind of look through all of that the downsides I would say is just simply that they don't have a lot of pictures of models in their clothing. It's just a lot of what looks like possibly like a clear mannequin or maybe like a 3D screen mannequin with the clothing on it. So it's really hard to kind of look at those and know what they would look like on me or on someone else even. It's really hard to gauge what I wanted to get from them because I couldn't see it on anyone. So I didn't love that. I think that's about it for the sight experience. So the items, you know, I guess pros, it did get here pretty fast. And then also in addition, the, the items themselves are very rare. You can't go necessarily on like Shein or Fashion Nova and see these 60s style vibe type items. They're definitely different and they look like really good quality. So stay tuned, let's see um, kind of how these items did. I think before we get into the items, I just wanted to call out that they sent cute little stickers with their items so I got these cute little sheets of stickers I think they're the same I'm not really sure um, oh no they're a little bit different that's cute and they do come in really nice quality bags that are ziploc bags I love that I love brands that have kind of individual bags for each of their items I with their you know their logo on it and everything I just think it looks really cute and really professional okay so first up I have this Kind of colored dress that I'm wearing here. It is a mini dress and it does have um, rib knit. <laughs> it does have like a little bit of rib knit design to it and it's very stretchy. It is definitely a mini which again not having actual models to see a lot of their items on it was hard for me to decide how short this was. It's a little bit too short for my comfort and overall very stretchy. Very, very stretchy. I love that. I did get this in a small, however, and it feels like it is too big. I felt like, you know, I looked at a lot of their measurements on their site and I wasn't 100% trusting just because everything did seem a little bit bigger. And so I didn't want to get too small and nothing fit me like get an extra small and then it doesn't fit me at all or it looks weird or the buttons are like popping out in the middle that kind of thing so I stuck stuck <laughs> I stuck with my normal size and overall I love the color love the collar I kind of added this little gold chain but you guys could also you know button it down a little bit kind of like that I think that's really cute as well the only downside I would say is that it could be a lot more form-fitting. I love that it's stretchy and yes, maybe I could have gotten an extra small, but even then I feel like it still would have been a little bit loose on the waist. So it's not very complimenting there. I'd have to like pull a lot of the fabric back to get like a little bit more of a snatched look on my waist. So, 
take that as you will. I'm not if you like more of a loose fit, you would like this dress. It's really good quality. I love love the color. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have this knit halter top type dress. I like it. I love it. I think I love it. Um, fun fact, my sister always told me that I belonged at the railroad tracks because of my weird styles and the things that I like because I love knit stuff and it just kind of looks not correct for this day and age. I don't see a lot of knit items nowadays or a lot of people wearing knit type items. It literally looks like I'm wearing an afghan as a dress and I'm obsessed. I love that. Um, and I'm okay with it. I really enjoy it. It does look like if my grandma knitted me a blanket and I'm now wearing it, but that's okay. <laughs> and okay, so really good quality. I'm sure this was not easy to make to begin with, so the price is considerably good for the quality that I'm receiving here. I love kind of this like green stripe up the side. I love the detailing with the green over everything else. I think that that looks amazing. And while it is knit and it is see-through, it's not see-through enough where you couldn't get away with just wearing like some nude spanks and a nude bra and you are good to go. And I love that it's kind of loose at the bottom. Again, I do wish it was a little bit tighter on my waist. Maybe I could have gotten an extra small. So I did tuck it in a little bit in the back. So this is what it looks like without anything tucked in a little bit more loose on the waist. I'm feeling a little hot in it, so it is, you know, still summer. This is probably something I would wear at the end of winter into spring, probably. So a little off season. I could probably get away with this in fall. It just has more of a spring color combo to it, but catch me wearing this in fall. Absolutely, I'm gonna be doing that. Okay, so next up is this romper. It has got the cutest pattern. I love the pattern. It's just these cute little flowers on just like green stripes, green pinstripe type stripes. <sighs> okay, pros and cons of this one. The pattern itself, very cute, very cute. I also love the detail of the bows in the middle as a top. This is very cute, and if we get into the cons, the, the bottom half of it is a very awkward shape, a very awkward length. It looks like pajamas gone wrong at the bottom, and the area that should have split off into like where your legs go, or just basically like the crotch area, it just stops, like it's too long, it's just too long and it looks weird. Um, and it makes my legs look awkward. It makes like all the bottom area just look very awkward. And if I were to kind of tuck it in and pull it up in the front, it's too short in the back. Yeah, there is just no way for the bottoms to kind of look right. And unfortunately too, it looks like they tried to go for kind of like a frill trim look at the end. And they just didn't use enough fabric. It just looks very flat and boring at the bottom, whereas normal kind of a frill trim would look more fun and cute. They just didn't use enough fabric and it just kind of looks a little boring and weird down there. Um, as a top, I'm obsessed. I love this as a top. The material is a little bit weird as well. It feels um, almost like it's waterproof, which is a very weird material for a romper. Usually I'd want it to feel a little bit more like cotton or softer but it's okay, you can't really tell when you're looking at it that it feels like that. Maybe it just feels a little bit cheap, I guess, is the best way to put it. I'm highly considering just putting jeans on over this and wearing it like that. But as a romper, I would not go out of the house. Okay, so next up I have just one other romper here. And this one, yes. This one's a very casual one. I'd say this is a little bit more modern, something that you'd see more often maybe on Fashion Nova, on Shein, or just kind of out in the world. You'd see this a lot more, I feel like it's more common. Um, it's just a cute little romper. It's got this nice white lined detailing. So the straps are white, they are not adjustable. And it fits like a glove. It fits like a glove. I'm obsessed with that. And it came with, it came with this. So this is just so different and I 
don't know if I have seen anything like this before, but this is a very cool little extra piece that you can add on to it a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit not your average romper anymore. Now you're just like completely different. People are like, what is that? To the point where it's almost like, what are you doing? Why are you wearing this? But I like it. I've just never seen anything like this before. It's it's literally like a bandana that you wrap around your waist for this one. So that's kind of just what it looks like. It's different. It's definitely different. And I'm like, this could be an apron as well. So I like all I keep thinking about when I see this is just say you're at like a barbecue or something and you need to go make more chicken wings, right? Like. I got you. You need me to bake a cake? Ready to go. You want to have a paint night? Ready to go. Want to rob a bank? <laughs> but really, seriously, all, all in all, this one is with or without the wraparound bandana. It's a fire fit. And if you don't want to wear the bandana, you still have a really cute romper. And I would say that this is something that you would need in your life. You need this as your basics, your essentials. You need this as a staple in your closet. You need it in your life. And you need me in your life. Subscribe to my channel. Okay, so we are moving into a few sets here. And this one is, it's really adorable, but it's too small. <laughs> well, the top is too small. The pants, the shorts fit perfectly. This is a, what they called a matcha set. That was just the color. I love that they called it matcha. It is it is really matcha colored. Um, it's really cute, but I am keeping my hair here on the sides so you do not see the amount of lube that is just popping out on the side of this top because it's insane. It looks really good in the front. I love the little bow tie. I mean, the back is probably super adorable too, and I love the shorts. But this top is just too small. It's just too small. And I wish it was adjustable to kind of push the sides over a little bit more and leave a gap in the middle. It's almost more like a bikini top, but really good quality. And I would highly recommend if you have smaller boobs, I would get the small. This is the size small. So if you're similar to my measurements, like waist down, I get a small, just not similar on the chest size because it's just way, way too small. <laughs> this is the next set. So it is this really cute chocolate brown polka dot two piece set. So the skirt is a mini and it comes with pockets. They're very tight pockets, but I, I nonetheless will utilize them because they exist. And wow. Um, First thing I'd like to talk about is the quality. It feels very nice, it feels really high quality, but it also reminds me of something that would be in Clueless, like totally that time frame. And it comes with these cute little kind of like circle type zippers that there's one at the top and one at the bottom on the skirt. So if you wanted to kind of like unzip the bottom a little bit, you could. And then the back of the top also has a cute little circle zipper. So, Hopefully you can see that okay. And I like this one. I like this one a lot. I think it's really cute. Definitely, again, just gives me really cute, clueless vibes. I see myself wearing this one out for sure. Kind of just like, I don't know, to the mall or something a little bit more casual, like a brunch with the girls. And I also did get both the top and the bottom in a small. So these two actually came separately. So you have to order them individually, which I do like because I was considering getting a medium for the top, but given kind of the way that the shirt looked on the invisible mannequin thing, I was like, maybe the small is going to be okay on me. And then I knew the skirt, usually I'm a small for pants and skirts, so I just went with that. Um, and overall it fits pretty good. Okay, so next up for sets, I have this two piece again, they came individually, so you do have to buy them separately to get both, um, but again, really glad that they are separate because I got the shorts 
in a small and then I got the top in a medium size because I knew that it would be a little bit too small. This one actually did have pictures of a model wearing the product so that helped a little bit to give, give me a good idea of like what it would look like in this area and even with a medium it is kind of small but it, it's still covering like it, it does it covers as much as I believe it's intended to so that's fine with me I do like the crisscross it's all very stretchy elasticy feeling very soft really really nice feeling um, the bottoms are not necessarily see-through but they're pretty tight so you may see you know some underwear lines that you don't really want to be seeing so I would recommend just wearing Spanx shorts or something underneath them just so you don't see anything that you don't want to see and I love this. I think this is again something that's a little bit more modern, something that you'd see more often on Fashion Nova, and it's not from Fashion Nova, it's from Cider. This is the last set, and what a set to end on. I actually really, really enjoy this one. On the website this looked more like a heather gray type material and I loved that because it seems very loungy. You know, I could wear this around the house or I could also wear this out and it would be adorable. Adorable. <laughs> adorable. Um, but it's actually more of a like yellow, lilac, and white striped. So I'll show you guys a close-up of that. But I am living for this two-piece. This is so so cute it's very casual it's really good quality again it's very stretchy it has a zipper for the top on the side yeah on this side and I love the top because there's a lot more material here so I can make it be more covering if I wanted to or I can just kind of make it a little bit more bubbly and I kind of like the way that that looks better kind of make it a little bit shorter and the shorts are really cute they're a really good length and again, I could just wear this around the house if I wanted to, or I could wear this out and about, and it would still be, you know, acceptable, pretty cute, probably just with a little fanny pack, like a tan or a cream, a cream fanny pack. It would be so cute. It would be a look. The only downside is that these shorts are just a tad bit see-through. Not terrible, definitely something that you could work with with the right pair of underwear, but just something to keep in mind. Okay, so next up I just have three tops and then these shorts as well, so we'll get into these shorts here in a second. So this top, a little spicy, it's a little bit spicy. Um, I don't think it's for me, I really wanted something with kind of like this gold chain as a strap. And I don't think I got like the right kind of style for myself, I'm not really feeling this. Um, the material feels okay, it feels kind of cheap. On this one um, but from far away and looking at it you probably wouldn't notice and the chain is really good quality I love the chain and the way that it's it's wrapped around like it looks really cool it's just maybe not <laughs> something that I would wear I I don't know I don't know what I'm thinking I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this okay another more spicy kind of top here and I have to say I'm not in love with this one not just for the design but I don't love the fabric it's not really stretchy at all and maybe it's not supposed to be um, it fits really well but it's too small so that's probably also why it fits pretty well these straps are obviously <laughs> adjustable so you can kind of choose how much cleavage you want to show if you want it tighter personally I couldn't get it any more scrunched in because there's just not enough fabric to be working with so that is my bad I did get a small and it's just it's just too small um, I love the color I just don't really love the fabric that was chosen for this top yeah all in all I'm just not I'm not feeling this one and I don't want to say that it's like bad quality or it feels cheap I just simply didn't love the material that was chosen for the top and I don't love the fact that it's not stretchy. Okay. It's really hot in this, and so I'm gonna make this one fast, but this one was on sale, and I thought I would love it, and I guess, again, the downside of not actually seeing how this looks on people, on models, 
it's a lot harder to see, like get an idea of how it would look on someone. So if I had known that it was this cropped, <laughs> I would not have gotten it. It looks okay. Um, the reason why I got it is because it reminds me of Miserée from uh, Rosario Plus Vampire. Like her, the top that she wears, or maybe it's her socks. I think it reminds me of her socks, now that I'm thinking about it. But it reminded me of her. Um, and the shoulders were kind of mad awkward. I could not lift my arms up like whatsoever. This is dangerously very cropped, I'm not about it. Um, so this is definitely a no for me. It does have some really cute detail. It has a little bit of rip on it, which is kind of cute, but again, way too short, not vibing with this one at all, and it's very itchy. Okay, I wanna go back to these pants now. These pants are shorts. <laughs> these are shorts. Um, they feel great. They are really good quality. They look like slacks, but they're just shorts, and they're really good length. They're definitely covering in the back. I love the pleated look to the front here on the shorts. I think it gives it just a really cute look. The pockets are functional, and they just look really classy and well done. Like this almost reminds me of, I guess, prep school required uniform attire kind of thing, which you'd think wouldn't be awesome <laughs> for the most part, but I actually do really love these and I think that I will wear them with a lot of different things and they could go with a lot of different tops, a lot of different looks. So very versatile, definitely something that you could consider a staple in your closet as well. Okay, so that is everything for today. I really hope that you enjoyed. I hope you found this useful if you are looking to maybe shop on Cider. I would say overall, I'd give it about a seven or eight out of 10. And the only reasons I don't give it fully anything more than that is mainly because of not being able to really get a good idea of how the items look on, you know, human people, not a invisible mannequin kind of thing. I really think that that was hard for me to get behind. And I mean, overall, like most of the items I would rate like a nine out of 10, like I wasn't entirely like this is the best thing ever, but I did like a lot of my pieces and I will be keeping a lot of things and I will be wearing them. So some of them were tens, some of them were, were like a six. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I seriously appreciate it. And I am on my way to 100 subs. So if you made it this far, thank you again so, so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna keep seeing more of my content and also give this video a like and comment your favorite piece down below, what you loved, what you didn't love from what you saw on this uh, review. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.